Hi, I'm James, and today on the desk we have this, which is the brand new Dell Inspiron 5425 laptop with AMD Barcelo APU. And we are going to start by removing screws from the base. Now to begin with, we're going to use these four and this central screw, as like many of the current uh, Dell models, these two screws here are retained and are useful in actually removing the base itself. All of these screws in the base, except for the two retained screws, are the same. Uh, I keep them off to the side in the order that I remove them, um, but they are all interchangeable on this machine. So with the five screws removed, we are now going to undo the two back corners. And what we will see is as we do this, because they are retained, they will start to remove the base from the chassis for us. Doing the other as well now. And again, this pops up that back corner and also pops up here. So we have a in for our pry tool. That screwdriver, by the way, was a Phillips uh, 00, 00 size screwdriver bit. And now we are going to take our pry tool and we are going to just gently run along the back and then in down the side here, releasing the base from the main chassis. Same on this side. And once we have done that, we can simply pull up and remove the base. Once inside, our first job is just to disconnect the battery. And what we can see here is we have the battery connector here. And we are just going to gently, so trying to not block the camera too much on this, but gently pull down on the edges of this connector and ease that out from the socket here. So with that done, the machine is now definitely electrically off and we can work on the machine. In terms of upgradable components, we have two DDR4 3200 memory slots. So one, two. We have the M2 2280 SSD and there is only a single one of these in the machine. I don't believe there is a second slot anywhere here which we can use. And this is a PCIe four times device. And we also have our M2 wireless card. In this case, a, uh, I believe it is MediaTek uh, Wi-Fi 6 device. So to upgrade the RAM, very simple job. So this already has eight gigabytes installed and I'm going to increase this machine to a 16 gigabyte configuration. So what I'm going to do is lift up this and slot, helps the right way around, slot the memory module into place and then clip down. If we were to replace the other one here, we can simply pull these legs out, allowing it to pop up and slide it out then slot in the replacement and again press down so that these legs clip it into place. For the SSD I'm going to fit this M2 22H drive. We as standard have I believe this is a 2242 module but this also comes with a metal plate to extend it so that we use a M2 2280 mount anyway. So to do this very simple task just simply unscrew the screw from the end here and slot out the old SSD. We then take our 2280 drive, put links for uh, parts that I'm using are in the description below as well, including tools and SSDs and so on. And we are going to screw that into place. Um, in terms of maximum capacities, I believe you can fit at least 32, perhaps even 64 gigs of RAM with a pair of 32 gigabyte modules, but two 16 gigabyte modules would certainly work. And for the SSD, any single-sided module uh, or M2 module should uh, fit in here. 
So if it has chips on both sides, you will probably find you do not have the clearance, but most two terabyte modules should fit fine. If we were to want to replace the Wi-Fi card, say to fit a um, Intel AX210 card, we have a screw here which holds this little bracket in place and two Wi-Fi antennas. So we can simply unclip those, slot the card out, and then either refitting this or fitting a replacement, we can then slot it back in, the fiddly bit of refitting the two antennas. and then refit this piece here and then refit this cover over the top of them. With all that done, we're now ready to reconnect our battery. And finally, to refit the base. With this, we're going to Slot it down on the front first, then down the sides, along the back, and then start by doing the two back corner screws before refitting all the others. So I hope you found this video useful. I do also have a first impressions review of this machine online already and we'll be doing a longer form review soon. If you have any questions about the system, do just ask me in the comments below. Hit like if this video has been helpful and if you'd like to see more videos as we post them, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.